here are my thoughts with what you guys are looking out of the property, like for a price, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you'd be too, too far off from a cash offer. Yo, yo, what up, family? Welcome back to the channel. You're about to tune into a call that I did for one of the community members in the Blueprint sales training program. Now, this is a call where we go over an option agreement where we pretty much tell the seller, hey, I'm not a good fit to buy this property, but I'm going to go find you a buyer. Yes, you could do that. <laughs> the full recording of this is in the sales training program. If you're interested in the sales training program, go to joinbprei.com. Set up a call to see if you can get qualified. Let's get into the video. Love it. Cool. Well, what's going on with this one here? Uh, well, we'd like to uh, get out of it. We have our first uh, brainchild in Long Island, and uh, we'd like to go down there and uh, be with her full time. <laughs> nice. Well, congratulations. Newborn? Uh, six months. Nice. Congrats on that. Cool. Um, so you guys are looking to, you guys live here right now and you're looking to move out of New Hampshire to go down to Long Island just to be a little bit closer to the, the grandchild. Correct. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Um, and when you say you guys, is it you and a wife or something like that? Correct. Okay. Celeste, Celeste and I. Celeste. Okay. Is she on the phone too? Uh, no, she's working. Okay, cool. All righty. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, um, what were you guys hoping to accomplish with everything? Now, what's your name? Oh, I apologize. Mike. <laughs> Sorry. Mike. Okay. That's what, that's what I thought. Yeah. I thought, I thought I heard you say it in the beginning. Um, but uh, what were you guys hoping to accomplish with everything with the Dolly road property? Uh, you know, Sell it and move down to Long Island. Okay. When were you thinking of doing that? Uh, you know, as soon as uh, it can be fixed up and ready. Okay. So are you... We don't have a specific timetable. Okay, got it. So it's not like a super, super in a rush type of thing, but... You guys do want to get that down there as fast as possible, and you'd you'd like to do a little bit of work to the property before you listed it on the market. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Well, if somebody could buy it in cash, where would you want them to be? Uh, like low to mid three hundreds. Okay. Here are my thoughts with what you guys are looking out of the property, like for a price, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't think you'd be too, too far off from a cash offer. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know this guy that came in at 200 grand like that is, it just kind of sounds like disrespectful to, to be honest. Yeah. Um, kind of right up there with the bathroom quote. <laughs> right, one hundred percent. It is just super, super low. Um, here, here are my thoughts. I buy fix and flips, and I buy properties to buy and hold. Um, and whenever I'm doing one outside of my market, I have my offices in Canton, Massachusetts. Whenever I'm doing something outside of my market, mm -hmm. I'm I'm always looking to just fix and flip it, just because I don't have the property management and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know if I'd be a good fit to to buy this one here as mm -hmm. I, as I would probably be lower than the 300 mark. Mm -hmm. um, but the path of least resistance is always just doing a cash offer. It's somebody coming in, closing on the property in 30 days. It doesn't have to go on the market. It doesn't have to be, you know, listed and have everybody and their mother know about it as far as like, mm -hmm. you know, having to be on MLS and everything like that. So that's typically the cleanest easiest way to do it and the fastest way to do it um mm -hmm. the problem is is when we buy houses in cash we use hard money lenders which they charge us a bunch of interest and fees and stuff like that and then we have to close on it so the attorneys charge us a lot of points and fees and everything like that so it's kind of expensive to buy houses that's why that guy came in so low now i think he did come in like way lower than he needed to be and i think he was just trying to take advantage of you guys to be honest 
Um, yeah. But that's why these cash offers come in lower than than people are expecting. However, it ends up being super, super easy and super simple for, for everybody. Um, no contractors have to come in there and do work or anything like that. But like I said, I don't think I'd be a good fit to buy this one as if I was going to do that out of my market with, you know, I'd, I'd probably partner up with somebody with their contractors and everything like that. Um, but the thing is, is I know everybody in New England pretty much doing deals. Um, I have a really good presence in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and we all do a bunch of things together. We're all we're always doing meetups. We actually have a meetup coming up here and uh, on the 22nd up in New Hampshire. We're going out to dinner together. We're like doing all the things together, right? And some people buy houses for different reasons than I do. Like somebody could mm -hmm. look at your house as like maybe a vacation rental or something like that, and they'd be able to come up for a higher price. Um, so what I can potentially do is I could potentially go out to them and see, you know, what exactly the marketplace would, where they would be at as far as a price point, um, to buy this act in cash, just so that it's the most simplest transaction for you. And then what they do is they just, um, they pay me a fee to facilitate the transaction it doesn't come out of your pocket or anything like that, but I would help you go find those people. Um, mm -hmm. it would probably take maybe about two or three weeks and I would have a really good understanding whether or not somebody would be able to come up to that number. If they can, then great. We just help facilitate the whole entire thing. They buy your house, you get the number that you want and you go down and move to Long Island whenever you guys are ready here in the next 30, 60, 90 days, it's up to you. Um, mm -hmm. I think that might be you guys' best option. That way you don't have to go in the market. The property is not like, um, you know, on the MLS where everybody and their mother can see it. This is just simple. It's like, hey, we're going out and finding the buyer, helping facilitate everything for you guys. And then um, you don't have to worry about the property anymore. I, I, so yeah. that's just what I'm thinking. What What are your thoughts on everything? Sounds good. Well, cool, David. I, I appreciate you taking my call. And um, yeah, let's have another conversation maybe on Saturday if that's when you guys are both free. Yeah, that would be, that would be the best. All right, David. Sounds good, Mike. Thanks, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. You too. You have an awesome week. You too. Bye. Bye, brother. Bye-bye.